Hello YouTube, I'm Chris the Slayer from the Undead Slayer Nation and I'm here to teach you guys how to add attachments to Black Ops 3 custom zombies on the PC. So you will need Black Ops 3 in the PC. So over down to Steam. Uh, let me exit that real quick. Go to Steam and then go down and to Black Ops 3 and play the game. So basically start up Black Ops 3. Once you're in Black Ops 3, you're going to hover down and you're going to see where it says play offline in the main menu. So press play offline and then uh, you go to that. Once you're there, it's going to put you in offline mode. Go to zombies. Uh, and then go down to weapon kits once you're in offline mode and you're in zombies everything is gonna be unlocked so you can see that everything's unlocked all the attachments on all my guns uh, I'm gonna go down look you see you can see all the attachments you can go down and see everything else uh, look at that everything you can see all my attachments so that's the beauty do all your attachments once you do that leave the lobby leave the game after you edit all your attachments on your weapons, make sure you leave the game. And after that, you want to go down to your folder. So go to Windows Explorer folder. You should have any folder around your PC. That should be the easiest thing in the world. So basically, you just click on a folder and go to Windows C. So you're going to go down to Windows C right there. And then you're going to go to Program Files x86. Once you go there, you're going to hover down and you're going to try to find Steam. There you go. Steam, there it is. Then you're going to go down to Steam Apps. Double click on Steam Apps. Then you're going to go and you're going to find Common. Once you go to Common, you're going to find Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Go there and you're going to see a bunch of folders, as you can see. You're going to go to a folder that says Players. So go to that folder to where it says Players. Now you're going to look for two files, and I stress this, two files. And the first file you're going to find is called loadouts underscore ZM offline zero. So pay attention to what I'm doing right now. So basically the first file, we're going to go right here. We're going to find it. So you're going to go loadouts underscore ZM underscore offline underscore zero. Like loadouts underscore ZM underscore offline underscore zero. That's the first file. So grab that file, right click on it, and then press copy. Now go to your desktop, make a new folder just to make things easier. And click on that folder, that new folder, and paste it inside of that folder. So paste it there. Okay, now you're going to look for the second file. Okay, so the other file is going to be a stats file. Okay, and the stats file you're going to look for, it's going to be called stats underscore ZM underscore offline underscore zero. Okay, so you're going to take that file, you're going to right click it, and you're going to go to copy. Then you're also going to paste it to that same folder. Okay, so scroll up in your players folder in the same place that you're at and look for mods. Once you go into your mods folder, you're going to see two folders called user map and user maps so recently we had an update about having this file right here called user maps so yeah there was a recent uh update on black ops 3 about that but anyways you just want to make sure you have those two folders in there and then you're going to take these two files you're going to press copy so you're going to take them you're going to copy them right you're going to go to the folder user map and you're going to paste it in that folder once you are done there Replace the files and destination. Okay, so once you are done there, you're going to go back and you're going to go to the next folder called user maps. So double click that, take the same files, copy them again just to make sure. Okay, and then paste them in there. So you paste them, replace the files and destination the same way, and then do that. Everything should load in fine. Refresh. Now exit everything. You're not going to need that file on your computer anymore, so you can delete that that folder, that new folder right there that you made with those two files. You can delete it now because you just copied them and you paste them. You don't need them there anymore. Okay, now let's go back to Steam, and you're going to load up Black Ops 3. 
Once you load a Black Ops 3 again, you're going to go into there. You're going to let it connect to the online source or whatever. And then you're going to go to Zombies. You don't have to go on offline mode this time. You can go straight to Zombies. So let's go straight to Zombies right here. And let's load up a custom map. So here we go. You can go to Solo Game or you can go to uh, uh, Private Game. It doesn't matter. So just load up a game. Make sure it's non-ranked, by the way, whenever you're using mods. Anyways, I'm going to look for a custom Zombie map. A necro for no, I'll just go with Night of the Living Dead. So let's go with just Night of the Living Dead. Okay, once you're in the map, you're gonna see that. Well, first it's gonna load up. So let the let the custom map load up first. I'm doing this very slowly, guys. I don't want to cut too much because I want you guys to see this carefully. Okay, so basically you just start the game like any other custom zombie map that you would. So start it and go into the custom zombie map. Let it load up. And then once you get into the map, guys, I stress this, okay? I really want to show you guys that this works because a lot of people do not know how to do this still. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to go... Should I buy the Shiva? No, I'm going to go buy the RK5 first just so I can show you guys simply. There we go. You can see that my RK5 has all the attachments, the ELO scope, the quick mags, and the um, rapid shooting. So there you go, guys. That's the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, matter of fact, I'll go buy the Shiva so I can show you guys that the Shiva also has it. So here we go. I'm going to kill a couple zombies and try to get a... There we go. Let me shoot this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Knife them. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Knife them. Okay. Let me go run and buy the Shiva so you guys can see it. I buy the Shiva and... Bam, there you go. The Shiva also has the attachments. Well, guys, this was Chris the Slayer from the Undead Slayer Nation. And peace out, YouTube.